Right now I'm in Greater Moncton in New Brunswick, Canada. Greater Moncton's population is a little over 126,000 and encompasses the cities of Dieppe, Moncton and Riverview. The 2006 Canadian Census demonstrated that Greater Moncton is one of the fastest growing communities in this country. It's centrally located in Canada's east coast, which gives it a catchment of 1.4 million people within a three-hour drive. In 2006, KPMG ranked Greater Moncton as the number one place to do business in Atlantic Canada and the New England states. And in 2007, Canadian Business Magazine ranked Greater Moncton fourth best place to do business in Canada. FDI Magazine named it the fifth most business friendly city in North America and Money Sense ranked it the seventh best place to live in Canada. The town of Riverview is completing a ring road that attaches to the newly opened four lane bridge. They'll have over 60 acres of prime commercial property for sale literally five minutes from Greater Moncton's main business core. The city of Dieppe has a large industrial and aerospace park located off the main Trans-Canada Highway and adjacent to the Greater Moncton International Airport. Purelater and FedEx both have major distribution hubs here as well as five major ground transportation companies that ship all over North America. The Greater Moncton International Airport is a jewel within the city. Continental is just one of the airlines that fly here and their head office out of Houston, Texas thinks that it's a route that's bound to grow. Uh, we are very happy with the way that traffic has grown out of Moncton Airport and we are very excited about the future growth opportunities for that traffic growth. Manufacturing accounts for 6,000 jobs and has had a 57% sector growth since 2000. Apex industry machinists are so skilled their steel fabrication plant produced the steel box beams that are the skeletal structure for the New York Times World Headquarters in New York City. Besides heavy industry, Greater Moncton has several food processing plants. Maple Leaf has one of their largest meat rendering plants here. And Bonte Foods Limited has over 300 food products produced in their 66,000 square foot facility. And Greater Moncton boasts the national award-winning Pump House Brewery, which is seen as one of the nation's best microbreweries. Impressively, Molson, Canada's oldest brewer, started line production in 2007 with the newest brewery in the world. Proximity to U.S. markets, workforce, and outstanding water quality were deciding factors for Molson selecting Greater Moncton. Greater Moncton has an excellent water supply, which is paramount for our business. The location of, of feeding this region, we're two hours from any other center in the Maritimes, which gives us a great opportunity to distribute our finished product as well as strong plier base, which meets all our operational needs. Also in the same industrial park is Irving Personal Care. Irving Personal Care is the only plant in Canada producing high quality diapers. With all their industrial parks located next to rail, air and road systems, it makes sense to have all of these manufacturing facilities located here. A number of prominent corporations have their head offices in Greater Moncton, including Atlantic Lottery Corporation, Meta V Blue Cross Insurance, and one of the world's largest drilling companies, Major Drilling Group International. There are also several head offices and or operations of the Irving Corporate Empire here. Midland Transport, Majesta Royale Tissues, Irving Personal Care, Master Packaging, and Cavendish Farms. I analyze their high-tech sector and I have to say that I am impressed with their scope and their skill sets here. Some are internationally recognized homegrown firms such as White Hill Technologies, a leading software developer, and OAO Technology Solutions. OAO is based just outside of Washington, D.C., and its CEO and president, Sid Fuchs, is a huge fan of Greater Moncton. Well, in addition to having a more cost-effective area to do business in, Greater Moncton provides several intangible benefits such as same time zone, location, proximity to the U.S., uh, healthy infrastructure, and there's really no cultural barrier between the U.S. and Canada. Uh, you don't find that's the case in some of the other offshoring countries that are usually selected. We find Greater Moncton to be a great partner in this area. Nanoptics is a Greater Moncton firm that designs and produces thermal printers geared towards the gaming industry. 
they received all kinds of accolades from California to New York. And speaking of gaming, Spilo Manufacturing has become one of the world's leading manufacturers of gaming machines. Recruiting is one of the biggest challenges that any business has, and in the greater Moncton area, there's a unique way of life and quality of life that really attracts people to the community. We have people questioning whether or not they'd like to move to a, to a smaller center from places like Calgary and Toronto and throughout the United States. But once they get here, they find that the, the vibrant community, the Acadian influence, things like the ballet and the culture that's available in Moncton results in a, in a turnover rate and an attrition rate that is one of the lowest in the country. The advanced contact center industry has 37 companies here employing over 8,200 people. The industry thrives here because the telecom system is state-of-the-art, 46% of the workforce is bilingual, and is well-educated. Continuing education is readily available with a number of post-secondary institutions. The Université de Moncton, the Atlantic Baptist University, and a satellite health sciences campus for the University of New Brunswick. Just 20 minutes away is Mount Allison University, always top of the list in McLean Magazine's ranking of universities. There are also two top-rate community colleges, NBCC and CCNB. Of course, I would be remiss not to mention Canada's largest flight training center, the Moncton Flight College. They're one of the few institutions in all of North America qualified to train pilots for the People's Republic of China. Yes, the more I see, the more I am impressed. They have two hospitals. One is the Moncton Hospital, which is the main hospital for trauma care for the province, and the other is the Dr. Georges Dumont Regional Hospital. It is also one of the leading institutions for oncology, the Atlantic Cancer Research Institute. On the quality of life spectrum, there are plenty of hotels, excellent restaurants, terraces and bars, and an arts and cultural jewel, the Capitol Theatre. Restored to its 1920s grandeur, it hosts endless productions, including the Moncton-based Atlantic Ballet Theatre of Canada, which tours the world to great reviews. They are also proud to have the best YMCA in the country, and there are over 14 golf courses to choose from in the area. Greater Moncton has made its mark as the shopping destination for Atlantic Canada, making tourism and retail sectors their largest employers. And it seems like that at any point in time, there's some kind of festival going on here. The Rolling Stones chose Greater Moncton in 2006 and played to their largest outdoor venue of 85,000 people. Faith Hill and Tim McGraw drew 50,000 people to their outdoor country concert. Imagine, work just 20 minutes away from home, the plant just five minutes away from the main business center, and a pristine beach just 20 minutes away. Let me just say that Greater Moncton is a top-notch business location. I'll write up my report tonight. See you back at the office. Goodbye.